Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it And by the way, just got in town And I won't let you come in this cloud It's all in the sky, ruin my vibe Hey queens and shout out to my kings too. Welcome or welcome back to Nabila Range. So today's gonna be a daily vlog or a weekend vlog or I don't know what it is. It's a vlog. So I am about to go to DC or to Maryland with my husband. His family lives in Maryland, so we're gonna go visit them and then we're gonna go to like a paint and sip type of thing tonight. So this is what I'm wearing. Um, this is the dress that I showed in one of my hauls most recently and then a way that I'm I want to show y'all because the way I'm making it modest I guess is like wearing this huge like scarf which kind of like covers up my body so yeah this is what I'm wearing um I wanted to get y'all opinion obviously you can't tell me now but you could let me know in the comments which bag do you think would go best with this so we got this bag right here and I recently got these two bags from Hold on, let me turn y'all around. So, I recently got these two bags from TJ Maxx. And we got this one. You like this one, baby? With the outfit, yeah. Okay. And then, and then we got this bag right here. Um, I put a poll on Instagram and people chose this bag over the other one. I like both of them, so I ended up getting both. Um, but then we have this bag right here. So, outfit or bag one or bag two, which one do y'all like the best? And don't mind our apartment, we're moving, so we packing into everything, but yes. And then I also have another bag, but it's kind of packed away and I really don't feel like grabbing it, so I'm either just gonna choose between those. So which one do y'all think I should wear? Hey y'all, so we're in the car, we're on our way to Philly. So we're gonna go to Philly first, grab something from there, and then gonna make our way down to Silver Spring to go to my parents, um, to go to my husband's parents' house, visit family, and then after that we're gonna go to, I, it's not necessarily called a paint and sip, but what's the place called, baby? Muse, Muse Paint Bar. It's called Muse Paint Bar. They have a bar there, obviously we don't drink, so we won't be partaking in that, but it's like, um, just kind of like the paint and sip vibe. Um, where they'll show you how to paint something. So we've never done it before and I think it should be really interesting. If you peeped in the last clip, uh, in the hallway we had canvases and paint there. I um, mean things like to to paint. We were gonna do our own paint and sip night and everything. Um, but yeah, we didn't get a chance to do that just yet. So we're just gonna do the paint and sip. It's like, it's kinda, kinda complicated. So we had the paint and sip in January and then we got sick so we weren't able to go. So then we rescheduled it cause they give you a voucher. So then we rescheduled it for today and they happened to have the painting that we wanted to do the time that we couldn't go. So that ended up working out perfectly. And I just realized yesterday I was like, hey yo like we still didn't use our voucher and it expires i think in like two days or something like that we ended up going to maryland and it just worked out perfectly and it was the exact same painting that we wanted to do before so you see how a lot works like it might not work out in the time that you wanted to but eventually it will work itself out in the best way that it's supposed to so alhamdulillah so i'm really excited about that i think it should be super fun we're getting on the highway now and i think it's gonna be super loud so i will talk to y'all later Y'all gonna be at a little angle because you're on top of the um the car ledge thing. But yeah, we made it to Philly, y'all. Um my husband went out to go grab something that he needed to get. I'm just sitting in the car because we kinda parked kinda weird or whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all like so I just been thinking like have y'all have y'all been finding yourselves kinda like thinking more about the future than living in the right now? Like, I've been kind of struggling with that a little bit. Because, um, as you know, we're planning to move um, really soon. And 
inshallah it'll be in about two weeks it's just like i keep thinking about it because the the day keeps getting pushed back for us to move um we were supposed to move at the end of january that's when our lease was over then they said the end of february and then now it's um march so like the second week of march and i'm just tired y'all like i'm just tired um i'm ready to just be settled i feel like in the last what well, i've been in school for how many years probably like six so like the last seven years i've moved about like every year so at this point i'm just ready to just find my place you know make a home and just be in one place like you know like decorate and not have to be like okay like take this down whatever because or i'm not going to decorate the way i want to because we're moving soon you know like i just want to be settled be there for a few years and just like you know be comfy um and then the fact that i just keep looking forward to that i don't feel like i'm living in the right now and i'm trying to be way more intentional about that like today is going to be an amazing day inshallah we're going to see family uh, we're going to have a date night like just focusing on the good things that's happening right now and not being so miserable thinking like bruh like why is this not happening you know because like allah has his timing for everything so we have a plan and we plan Plan, plan plan but that might not be what he wants for us so it's just like finding the happy things the good things in our days um that can kind of like kind of like get us through and kind of say that we lived a good life because think about it like i was uh, mentioning this to my husband like you'd be like okay once we move in oh, alhamdulillah we're here right you're gonna be um, you're going to rejoice. You're going to be really excited and happy. And then you're going to go ahead and think about the next thing. All right, what do we do after that? Now we got to go get all of our furniture. Now we got to do this. Now we got to do that. You get what I mean? Like, I feel like just enjoying the journey is what people always say. Enjoy the journey to get there. But it's easier said than done. Um, I try to, like, instill this in my, um, uh, my clients or, like, my students. Um, is like think about like what's something good that happened today like name three things that you're grateful for today and I think that's really important um, there's a verse in the Quran that says and I'll put it right here it's like basically the gist of it is if you are grateful I will increase you in favor right so like if you're grateful for what I'm giving you right now um, it's endless like it's um, a lot so bountiful so like you'll you'll continue to prosper you'll continue to be happy so like just being happy or maybe if even not happy but being content with where you are and just just being grateful i think is really really important for us to have that long-term happiness because once you reach whatever milestone it is that you were trying to approach and then that happens and then you know you're happy for a few days and then you are just ready to move on to the next it's not a sustainable happiness you get what i mean and i think that's something that we all search for is having a sustainable and like just being happy like generally so in life there's gonna be sad things that happen right so it's just gaining those coping skills and just being able to kind of like get through life in a way that we aren't too like um i don't know like just stuck in one emotion because our emotions are plentiful um we can have many emotions at one time um so just like embracing what we're feeling in that moment and then finding the good things in that moment but also recognizing yeah like right now it's pretty crappy you get what i mean so like yeah it's like just a balance i guess but always trying to find the silver lining and things at the end of the day um is what's ultimately i feel like will make us happy or you know like content with where we are so comment down below let me know what y'all have been thinking how have y'all been feeling these last few months we're about to go into march so the first quarter of the year is almost over like what like the year just started i feel like these last two um these last two months have flown right by so like let me know how y'all doing i hope that y'all all are well and everything is going good for y'all 
um yeah so i just wanted to come on talk to y'all hopefully my husband will be back soon so we can get going i'm kind of hungry i haven't really been feeling well today and then driving in this car is driving me nuts because like i get motion sickness um and it's just not a good mix when i already feel sick and then the motion sickness on top of it so i'm trying to like you know get my life but i got some tea my husband made me some chamomile tea it's like honey vanilla chamomile and then i put some moroccan mint i don't know how that really tastes together it's too hot for me to actually be able to can y'all see the scene i can't really tell but it's too hot for me to be able to like taste it yet i just burned my mouth so i ain't gonna even try it right now but yeah i'm just talking i'm just talking at this point um yeah y'all i hope that y'all doing okay i really do and i want y'all to comment down below like what are some things y'all want to see from me i've been grappling so i know y'all noticed that i post I post at least once a month but i want to post at least once a week but sometimes i don't just because i'm not sure of where i want to go with things i have so many ideas so many different things that i want to share but like the way that content creation is or social media is youtube instagram etc is that they try to put you in a box and i can't be put in a box so it's just hard because it's like, all right, I'll create one thing and then people will get used to that. And then people who like that will start to come in and then I'll create something else. And then that won't get as many views or as many interactions with you guys. So it's like, dang, do y'all not like this or is that just not the right crowd? So it's just complicated. Um, I'm generally lifestyle, beauty um, and fashion is what I am. And then I added in small business because I have a small business. So it's just so many different things. But, oh yeah, also, I know that this video is mad long. So if you're still here, thank you. So I also wanted to talk about this. So like consumerism and being an influencer. So it just reminds me, kind of scared me. <laughs> Damn, it's mad windy out there. Anyways, so yeah, consumerism and being an influencer. I probably make a simple, I mean, I probably make a separate video about this because I feel like that's going to be a whole topic in itself. But I'm trying not to be so like, oh yeah, buy something, buy something, buy something all the time. I just want to get more into these talking type of videos. If you like this, definitely comment down below and let me know so I can continue to make these. But yeah, so what they say? They said like 15, 20 minutes. Okay. How long was I out there? Probably like 10, well, this video is 9 minutes. Probably like 10 minutes long. So yeah, I will catch back up with y'all once we get to Maryland. See y'all. do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Do to one you Forgetting, we're gonna go to the paint muse bar. Yeah, muse called. paint bar. Yeah, uh, muse paint bar. So, yeah, I'll show y'all when we get there. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 the west wing of this mansion was happening. 
So how are they gonna see my crown if the background is yellow? <laughs> I just realized that. Alright, we're gonna do this next step before you're done because we wanna do it while that paint is still wet. So uh you'll notice there's like other colors swirling around in this background. So what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna rinse it on my brush.